Hi, welcome to the longer version of the word of the day, barefoot. I put it up a short for those more advanced students that just want to quickly go through learning vocabulary and they're advanced enough that they get it right away. But for some of us, we want to hear more and learn more about the meaning of a word and the way that it's used. So let's talk about the word barefoot and why for me and for many others, it, it provides a real sense of joy, of freedom. The ability to move around easily in our bare feet, the uh, feeling of kind of going back to our youth when we could jump in puddles and run around in the, in the park barefoot. So being barefoot is kind of a state of being, a, a feeling inside. That, that transgresses beyond its just meaning of the word, right? Without shoes on. It, it gives me a sense of, of uh, immense pleasure to take off my shoes and teach. Why? I have the freedom to dance, to jump around, to know that I'm not going to step on one of my little students when they're, they're running under my feet. Um, and hurt them, which would be terrible. So we, we, uh, you know, I really enjoyed always being barefoot, and I think that many people really do like it. In the West, it's not as uh, common. It really, when people go on picnics in the park, they might take their shoes off, and obviously, when they're at the beach, they have their shoes off. But almost all restaurants, all stores have signs on them that say, no shirt, no shoes, no service. It's not kind of an acceptable form of walking around to be barefoot. Sometimes we see on the West Coast kind of hippies that never wear shoes and things like that. And then in some of the stores in those towns, they might not have the sign up or they might let the person come in and shop because there's just no way to get that person to put shoes on anyway and they still need to buy things. So uh, they, they might give them a little more freedom. But in most of the United States, it's much more uncommon for an adult to be barefoot, to be walking around barefoot. They might at home, but even at home, people are gonna put on slippers to walk around in their house. Uh, they're just, there's, an, there's a, a very big difference in culture between the East and the West about the state of being without shoes on. Here, you obviously take your shoes off when going into your own home and into other homes. There are also many businesses here that are built on top or underneath the home, right? On top is their house and underneath is their home or in the back is their home. And so because the whole space is considered their home, even when you go shopping in those stores, you kick your shoes off at the, at the entryway and you shop barefoot. Now in the big stores here, you obviously don't do that. And I think that in most of the big cities, it's less common to find places where you're taking off your shoes going into a business. Uh, but you're definitely doing it when you're going home. Many people here do have house shoes that they wear. So you might see them kick off their sandals at the door and then slip on uh, kind of some kind of plastic shoe or little shoe that they wear inside. But uh, that's, that's not as common. Mostly I see people walking barefoot in their, in their homes when they're there. So again, barefoot is really, really a state of being. It's a, it's a, 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 a mental state of freedom. Dancing in the park, barefoot. Going to the beach, barefoot. Uh, I used to ride my long skateboard, barefoot, and there was a a, a wonderful feeling doing that even though if I fell it was uh, it could really mess up my feet and so I had to be very careful but I was young and stupid and you know luckily I never really really ripped up my my feet that bad 
broke a lot of other bones, but <laughs> luckily never hurt my feet. So anyway, this is the long version of Barefoot. I hope you enjoy it and uh, look forward to seeing you again really, really soon. Share, like, subscribe. Peace.